Hola chicos y chicas, bienvenidos a mi canal de YouTube. ¿Sabéis quién es? Y si no lo sabéis, soy la única, la top, top, top youtuber de Guinea Ecuatorial. Y hoy os voy a, os voy a mostrar cómo se construyen casas hechas de barro. Así que, vengan con nosotros. Chicos y chicas, nos encontramos en la Casa Savo localizada en la ciudad de Voy. Voy es la ciudad más grande del condado de Taita Taveta, en el sur de Kenia, en la antigua provincia costera. Se encuentra en el borde occidental del desierto de Taru, al sur y al oeste del Parque Nacional Savo East. Está a 3 horas de Nairobi en tren y a 6 horas en coche o bus dependiendo del tráfico. Personalmente, me ha encantado este lugar. Lo que lo destaca es que es súper ecológico. Chris Campbell es un señor de origen británico, nacido en Kenia hace 60 años. Fue nuestro hospedador y aparte de ser pintor, es también constructor. Él nos hablará del proceso de construcción de sus casas ecológicas hechas de barro. Dice que lleva más de 40 años en el sector de construcción. Le encanta construir con materiales locales. Y su misión es pasar el conocimiento a jóvenes interesados en la construcción. Aquí nos habla un poco sobre el proceso de la construcción de los ladrillos que usa para construir sus viviendas. Dice que son de 90% de barro y 10% de cemento. I mean, even Nelson Mandela Museum in Johannesburg is built using this technology. Yeah. So, I mean, if you go to Morocco or places in North, Northwest Africa, We've had buildings built out of mud for centuries. Mm -hmm. So it's like a technology that we all are ignoring. We, sh we shouldn't be ignoring it. Here we go. <laughs> well, you have to be very strong to be able to do that, huh? Oh my god! Right. Okay, so Mosea and Mikula. Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. well, look, then look at the magic here. So watch. watch, 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 watch. Amazing. Yeah, so it's it's really straightforward. And then, so how long do you have to leave it to dry and to put it um, for use? Ideally, because it's got a cement content, about three weeks. Okay. And they need to be covered, uh, not not right. exposed to the sun. Okay. So the idea is that it's uh, but very environmentally friendly because you've got yeah, no transport, okay. no transport involved. Yeah. Um, Semi-skilled labour, so mm -hmm. you know you can employ local people. Mm -hmm. So, the ethics behind it is fantastic. Amazing. Can I try to do that too? Why not? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Try. Here we go. Let's see. Un Give us some magic in it. Right. 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 En este momento, Idi ah, tomó la máquina sí, para hacer anda. ladrillos. No sé, yo no me atrevía, pero parecía algo fácil. Concentration. There we are. Yeah, that is me. <laughs> I worked for the UN in the Dadaab refugee camp and the idea was that we were going to design and build low-cost housing for refugee families. So my remit from the UN was to go there and train people to use these machines so that even the refugees themselves can build their own home. And uh, hey, it's challenging because in Somali culture, they don't really use muscles. They are businessmen. They're not really hands-on laborers. 
So this is a very different technique. Now this one, um, maybe I'll show you down here first. I'll show you how how these. So this is purely sand, uh, soil. There's no cement at all. So this is a really simple technology. So it's basically a center pole with a radius arm, and then <coughs> the same same unskilled laborer. You can dig your mud on the outside and you compact your brick here and then this this machine goes around in a you know it goes around it yeah so so then you your your second brick gets built beside the first brick and you just create a sausage and you go around and around, and around. so you go up to whatever height you want wow so that's yeah unfortunately it's got a bit of a stigma because you talk to people now you see they say why are we building up a mud for our grandparents if you think about it everywhere in the world we are we're standing on a building material yeah. so like the dab we were cutting we were collecting cut stone mm -hmm. from fika which is outside nairobi mm -hmm. transfer Supporting it 500 kilometers to build a house. Yeah. But we're standing on a soil in the dab. Which ready. could build a house. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. So that's the craziness of it. So I, I sort of set up this property in a way as a bit of a demonstration site. So even two weeks ago, I had the Nairobi University architectural mm -hmm. students come here. Yeah. And I talked them through all the technology. Mm -hmm. And even their lecturers were saying, my God, this is just so simple and common sense. And yeah. why aren't we doing it? You know? For sure. Yeah. This is so, and we didn't move the trees either. Well, those I just collect in the field. Ah, and just make use right. of them. But I, I mean, it just means you can build a house so cheap. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thoughtful. Yeah. And if, if we go back there, I'll just show you. Um, I mean, this whole building, which will be a living room and two bedrooms and bathrooms, probably hasn't even cost me, probably cost me about $3,000. So this is purely sand soil. Yeah. It's got no cement in no it cement. at all. Wow. And then if you come inside here, then we're just currently plastering. So we're just using lime lime plaster so again a very very cheap way of doing uh, walls nice. so I built my first house in Naivasha which is quite near Nairobi um, in 1980 mm -hmm. and it's still standing and it still doesn't have any cracks wow. this is this is exactly this is yeah. the mindset yeah. it's, it's backward to be yeah. building like this bueno chicos y chicas vamos a chequear la parte de arriba del edificio a ver cómo va lo hicimos lo hicimos lo hicimos sí estoy de camino Camino, estoy de camino, estoy de camino. Woo! Careful. Yay! Yeah! Wow! Oh, this is intentional. Look at this. Yeah. Miren, chicos, hay unas escaleras aquí en el tejado que conectan de un de un bungalow a otro. So, does that mean you are going to create the same thing there? Yes, you are a genius. Este lugar es, es fantástico. Como nos estaba explicando el señor Chris, es, es una maravilla y es algo muy fácil de hacer, 
tú necesitas invertir mucho dinero. Así que los que estáis mirando posibilidades de invertir en África, construyendo casas, bungalows, resorts, esta podría ser una buena oportunidad, la verdad. Y bueno, la verdad es que me encanta, me fascina, estoy súper enamorada de este lugar, me da pena que tengo que, me, que, tengo que irme, pero bueno... Okay, so how do I get down? Climb <laughs> down like a cat. Like a cat. Así que vamos a bajar ahora del tejado. Yeah. Okay. Exactly how he comes down. Just, we just reverse. Bingo. Okay, so like this. So then we're just being a bit more imaginative down there using bottles yeah, just sort of decorative so it's actually just toilets and showers so this just adds a bit of a zing to a building you know so that's I think what I'm going to use this technique to, technique to build yeah so these are the same very same bricks that yeah. we've just seen being made mm -hmm. yeah well it's uh sisal poles yeah 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 oh, You're doing amazing work. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's you interesting. Are. It's fun, yeah. and if I can part, if I can share some of the knowledge that I got with young people, young architects, yeah. fantastic. I wish I could learn. I mean, that that's the challenge. Is that even the schools, you know, even the architectural department, they say, oh, you know, yeah. this this isn't really sort of proper architecture. And you say, well, it's not, but it's. Yeah. Yeah, who cares yeah. about proper architecture? Yeah. Like, and yeah. one of the yeah. things that sometimes yeah. pisses me off is that as Africans, we normally put our culture and our things aside. Yeah. This is African. Exactly. I know that exactly. Yeah. exactly. We so we should be proud that yeah. our grandparents yeah. lived in something like that yeah. rather than embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, for instance, Yoko Island, where I come yeah. from, yeah. is known for wood. Yeah. We have so many trees yeah. and saber trees very tall trees yeah most people don't build tree houses anymore yeah. they prefer concrete yes i know and one day there will be a complete turnaround and people say why were we building in concrete yeah bueno chicos y chicas, como podéis ver, esta es la primera casa ecológica construida por Chris en la ciudad de Voy. Se llama Savo House. Esta casa lleva muchos años aquí. Se me pasó preguntar a Chris cuántos años concretamente. Pero bueno, es una casa acogedora y limpia. Y está en el sistema Airbnb desde hace seis años. Y si queréis ver el vídeo completo en donde muestro esta casa detalladamente, podéis verlo, ya está en el canal de YouTube. Y bueno chicos, hasta aquí llegamos con el vídeo. Espero que os haya gustado. Nos vemos en el próximo vídeo. ¡Chao!